So, could you kindly introduce yourself and also tell us which organization you're representing? Uh, my name is Alana Hairston, and I'm a senior program officer with Keep a Child Alive. Um, we're a U.S. based nonprofit that was co founded by Alicia Keys. All right, Alana, could you tell us what progress you have seen for women and girls in Africa, especially where HIV awareness and prevention is concerned? Um, I think there's been um, a kind of lull in attention um, to HIV uh, with concern to women and girls over the past few years, but um, I just went to a pre-conference today about young people and I think people have been reminded that um, HIV is really, really affecting women and girls um, and young people. Um, and I so, I, so I think that there's been a kind of um, reignition of attention on the vulnerability that women and young people, particularly young girls, face in terms of getting HIV. And dying from it. So what are some of the innovative approaches do you think we could adopt mm -hmm. to combat the AIDS epidemic by 2030 to achieve um, the 2030 agenda? Um, I think in many ways we need to recognize that we're in 2016 and um, technology has really taken over. Um, when we talk about young people in particular, young people are, you know, not all young people, but young people in cities um, and maybe who are a little bit more well off have access to social media and technology and cell phones and um, I think tapping into those um, tools to really help young people communicate with each other and to support one another um, and really uh, make sure that young people are tested, that they adhere to, if they're positive, that they adhere to treatment. I think kind of tapping into that is really essential um, for making sure that young people know their HIV status and if they're HIV positive that they stay on treatment and that they get the support they need to kind of, you know, transition into adulthood and become health, healthy adults. What are your expectations for the conference? Governments to really pay attention to this, um, international and na national governments to really pay attention to this and they can do that by giving money um, to support programs that are really working for women and young people um, and to because we know a lot of what we need to do but we need funding for that and I think that's really essential and I'm hoping that um, this conference can really you know make people remember that AIDS is not over and we have a lot of work to do and we need money to, to, to kind of support that work. Thank you.